afternoon and welcome back to the Baherda International Stadium for a bottom of the table clash here on your World of Champions as we continue to gather momentum in the Bet King Ethiopian Premier League's match day 23. Jima are fresh from a 2 1 victory over Arbaminch, their second in a row after as well dispatching Baherda on match day 21. They come here in search for their sixth victory of the campaign, but it's those 13 losses and a goal difference of negative 13 that really tell their story so far this season. Surafel. It's been picked out wide as Ajima Abadjifala looking for a quick response. He wanted the ball out wide, and this is Mohamed. No! Oh, it's been turned in. Mohamed Nur Nasir has opened the scoring here for Jima Abadjifar with his fifth goal of the campaign. Of course, it's a good run. Look at the kind of space that has been accorded him. Once he sets his foot down there, he doesn't have to touch onto this ball twice. It's total con concentration. He knows that at this particular point, if you give the goalkeeper a chance, he will definitely come. Paliso can come forward. He's got options up front, including Duresa Shubisa. Uh, just for Emilaku, watching his lines and suddenly doing well. Good reaction from those in white and green. And to go down and you can clearly see a side that is looking for an equalizer. You will be very, very impressed if you're playing behind the belly. Well, I saw them play against uh, the last time that they lost, like, I mean, tied against Sawasa. They played outstanding football against Sawasa. The only thing that they didn't have is the conversion. Because if it's a question of uh, creating chances, they created more than 10 golden opportunities, but they failed to put even one. And I think they should blame themselves for not being able at least to pick up three points against Sawasa. Today they've started on a very bad note because Jima and are not sitting back. The best way to defend is to attack. They are moving up in numbers and their build up is just absolutely fantastic. Obviously, it's better to have quality throughout them. But the general feel from the Ethiopian public and even those online, uh, Jima Bajfar shouldn't be in this relegation battle with the, with the quality they have in their side. Well, I think uh, they have struggled because uh, quite a number of times they really do not have the financial capacity to bring in, you know, good, I mean, uh, quality players. But they have youngsters, the likes of Mohamed uh, Nasir, who are very, very good and coming up. And I think uh, wherever they are right now, with 22 points and 15 points, should they run away with this one, then they have a high chance of being able at least to get into the top half and survive in this particular league. Every football fan in a league like this always dreads relegation talk. You always want your side to stay in the main league, that is in the top division. Sadly, that has not been achieved as of now, but here they come once again, Sepeta. Bring one in, looking for some of Salizo. Uh, it's slightly comfortable for Laza Marcos, but you could see what they were trying to build up here. Runs of both wings, but not many options in the center. It's two against two, two against two at this particular point. We're getting closer to the box. Shubisha, Salizo should know that that box is going to be heaven for them. So as long as you have a one against one, I think commit that defender. Make him make mistakes and then provide the incoming striker an opportunity or an easy chance to score. They didn't do that, they've wasted it. Can he keep this one in? Yes, he can. Does he have options inside that area? Yes, he has. Nsibambe! Almost had a touch. Back to get to Ale Mariam. Here comes a return into the area. And Nsibambe this time! Looking to get it past the goalkeeper. And does perfectly that. The Ugandan International has pulled one back for Sabeta. And is giving them a glimmer of hope in terms of survival in this very unforgiving and unpredictable league. Goal number two of the campaign. What a way for Sepeta to come back. You must deal with those crosses. The wider...
up in that area. And of course, good pick down from the left hand side. It's a good one. The first one is on the left hand side of the attack. The crosses are coming in, but they're too close to the goalkeeper. They need to bring in some nice fortifies because all their midfielders are coming in just to try and give the attack the necessary punch that is required. BC again. Can he keep this one in? Yes, he can. Does he have options inside that area? Yes, he has. Nsivambi! Almost had a touch. Back to get to Haile Mariam. Here comes a return into the area. And Nsivambi this time! Looking to get it past the goalkeeper. And does perfectly that. The Ugandan international has pulled one back for Sabeta. And is giving them a glimmer of hope in terms of survival in this very unforgiving and unpredictable league. Goal number two of the campaign. What a way for Sebeta to come back. You must deal with those crosses. Oh, good ball. Looking for Derek Isivambi. Running into the area. Big mix from the Ugandan. Eliza Marcos seemed beaten. Uh, this will go down as a huge mischance by Sebeta. Absolutely. Another good run on the right-hand side. Look at the timing. And as soon as he controls the, the ball, he knows that a second touch on that ball is going to have them recovering and Sivambi with the goal is it's mercy the goalkeeper is covering the near post I think the far post would have been better oh he's on side now here they come with Zacharias Fikre running into the area could he score goal number two here Zacharias Fikre looking for shooting space still twisting and turning and finally get to Hannah Mariam oh Zacharias Fikre two options inside the box didn't find either what is he doing is one against one he is close to the keeper. The best thing that he could have done is take a shot. If the goalkeeper was to, to stop it, there were other players in white who were coming in to finish. That is a golden opportunity wasted. Adnan to Mohamed Noor. There comes the return. Mohamed Noor! Saved by Lia Abdurahanu. Very good opportunity for the youngster just inside the Sabeta area. Uh, this surely should have been 2-1. Teresa is taking this one very fast and then running just inside the area, trying to go past the first, but trying to go past the second. He's been brought down and the referee says penalty. They went to go down earlier on in the first half. And that big run from Duresa Shubisa could not go past Shimele Stegen, who just gave away a free kick and picked up a yellow card. That push, that push. Abdurafis to pick. Scores 2-1. It's a penalty, and the man who has never scored, Abdul Hafiz Tofik, picks his spot. The goalkeeper is still on his line, and with some power behind it, precision, picks the most important time to put Sibeta ahead. Duresa wants it through the center. Get uses his left. That's a brilliant ball to do Derek in Siwambi. Chance for him to set up. Abdul Hafiz Tofik! Alaza Marco saves! Oh, that was a big chance. Big, big opportunity for Sabeta to go 3-1 up, not taken. Well, good control there by Nsivambi. He's not selfish. He knows that his first touch has let him down. But his second touch, he ensures that he sets up to Fik. And with a good shot there, only, the only person stopping him from scoring is Alazar Marcos. Sivambi does even better. Out wide to Zekarias Fikre. Get to Haile Mariam, one seat at the edge. Zekarias Fikre! Went for it on his own. The uh, second half substitute, uh, that was a bit of a worry. Not sure that the better players are happy with him at all. Well, look at the space. The space, no one is closing him down. A fascinating game. We hope you have suddenly enjoyed it as we try to sort out who will be relegated and who will stay. Full time from the Baherda International Stadium, Sebeta have beaten Jima Abajifar by two goals to one.